What's up, Cal Gang? Today we're going to be finding the volume of part of a ball that lies be between phi is equal to pi over 6 and phi is equal to pi over 3. But the thing is, is that rho is equal to a. So a is just a constant. I mean, you can put in any constant and you're going to get the same. So we're actually kind of like finding a formula. That's kind of cool. Anyway, so how do we solve this? Well, V is equal to A, and this is just a ball with radius, radius A. Radius for a ball is called phi. And theta, or not theta, this is rho. I'm just kidding. This is phi. It's been a long day. Phi goes from pi over 6 to pi over 3. So let's draw this. This is x and this is z. So what I'm doing here is I'm getting uh, y is equal to zero, and basically it's plastering it just like onto a surface. This is what you'd see at the radius. So this is just kind of like you're looking straight at it. It makes it a lot easier to visualize. So ball phi is equal to a. Phi is equal to a. Rho is equal to a. Phi is equal to these. Okay. So this is, you can basically think of this as like, this is the radius. Now, this goes from phi is equal to pi over 6, so you start at the top here, and you go down pi over 6. This is pi over 6, and then pi over 3 is here. This marker is really bad. Alright, so basically you're finding this, but it's a ball. It's like rotated around. So, how do we do this? Well, we actually have everything we need to set up the integral. This is a pretty easy question in total. So, that means that phi so that rho goes from zero here, and it's like you start here and you go out, boom, that goes to A. Why do I put these here? These are A. Okay, so we have zero is less than phi, is less than A. Uh, so then we know what rho goes from. Rho goes from pi over six, pi over three. And theta, because it's a full rotation around the uh, z-axis, it goes to 2 pi. And with this information, we can set up our nice integral, which I will do over here. Volume is equal to, am I in the way? Nope. Okay. So we start on theta first, 0 to 2 pi. And then it goes to our phi, which is pi over 6 to pi over 3. And our rho goes from zero to a, and it, because it's uh, because we're in spherical, we have to do the same thing, which is rho squared sine of phi. All right, now we have our integral. So this is it. And now we solve this. So I'm going to solve it for you guys. I kind of just pulled this out because I know that that's what it's going to give me. All right. Good job, Cal Gang. Good luck on your tests.